run your law firm the right way. This is the Maximum Lawyer Podcast. Maximum Lawyer Podcast. Your hosts, Jim Hacking and Tyson Mutrix. Let's partner up and maximize your firm. Welcome to the show. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Maximum Lawyer Podcast. This is one of the Saturday episodes. Thank you so much for listening. These are bite-sized action episodes, and so they're meant to be short. My last one was a little bit longer than I expected it to be, but that is completely fine. But I, in that episode, I mentioned talking about what I did for this this quarter's quarterly meeting. And so I'm going to talk about that because we did it different than what we normally do. Normally what we'll do is we'll have, we'll send out a very, very, a very, or a somewhat detailed survey. Last quarter we did an extremely detailed survey, which I find was, was a, the best way of doing it. But as I mentioned in the previous episode, this is one where I wanted to give everyone kind of a break a little bit where everyone had really been working hard And I wanted to reward them a little bit for that by not bombarding them with an extremely dense quarterly meeting where we're just really digging in. And we, we were able to achieve a lot of the same goals, just it was a lot more relaxed and the, the slides reflected that too. So it was a, it was a really, really cool feel. And you know what, for people that are watching, I guess I can, I can, pull this up briefly and I'll show you the the intro slide just to kind of tell you, show you what it, what it looks like, because it was a different, definitely a different one from our normal. The theme of the quarter is future is bright. Okay. Future is bright. And I'll tell you how I came up with that in just a moment before I do. If you have something you want me to cover on this show, I'd love for you to text me because I like hearing from you and I like getting ideas. I love, I love it whenever you are, because there are things that I may think that are really tiny that I don't really think you all would want to hear about. And you all tell me otherwise. So I would, I would love it if you told me, Hey, I want to hear about, you know, whatever you, you, you name it, something that you, that I've mentioned that you want me to cover, let me know. And I'm happy to, 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 to do it. Cause that, that's where I, I get a lot of great ideas from you. All, and I just kind of overlook them. So, Text me 314-501-9260. So shoot me a text, 314-501-9260. And just let me know what you want me to cover. Or if I glossed over something in another episode, we're like, hey, I'd like to hear more about that. Just tell just tell me. I'd love to hear from you. The theme, I'm gonna get back to the theme of the quarter because it it actually comes from a couple things. The wording of it specifically where I came up with future is bright. It's kind of a play on, or it is not a kind of, it's a, it's an actual exact rip off of a guy named Pat, Pat bed, David, he's got a podcast. It's a really well-known podcast. So many of you probably know who he is, but he's got of all, well, it's funny cause I'm an injury attorney, but I'm kind of talking about this guy that owns an insurance company, but he is a really positive guy and he's, he's been kind of you know, down with the negativity of the world. And so he's trying to push the idea of futures bright. I like it. Jim sent me a, a text message a couple of weeks ago and I had sent him a, a, a something. I'd sent him a, a, a card or a postcard or something like that. And he's using it as a bookmark and he, he showed me the note and it, it in there, I, I said, the future is bright. And the, 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 the quarter so fourth quarter, our theme was a little bit more intense. It was about going to war. And so I wanted to make it a little brighter because it is. And the, the whole point of it was, is like, listen, you all are working hard. The future's bright. You know, we've been going through some, some really tough things recently. And so let's, let's keep fighting. Future's bright. I wanted to kind of pass it on to people. So the, the agenda, what we did was, is it was a lot more, lighthearted than what we would normally do where we'll, we usually will, we'll, we'll have, we'll mix in things that are lighthearted. The games we would normally do usually are kind of games where you would get feedback from people. And, and I kind of mixed in some of that a little bit, but with this one, I started, I intentionally started it. And I will, I will always, always start with music during the breaks. There's always music. So when we take our, you know, our 10, 15 minute breaks, I'll actually, 
I'll have on YouTube, I'll like search like positive music, or if, if there's a certain theme for the quarterly meeting, I'll search that type of theme and I'll play that music during the breaks. And at the beginning, I, by the way, I put a lot of work into these. <laughs> these are, <laughs> these are something I, I prep these, like I prep a trial. All right. They're very, very detailed. So I, I, that's why in the last one, I was very ticked at myself that I screwed up the survey which I talked about in the last one for teammate of the quarter, I'd, I'd screw that up. And I was so ticked because I test the links and I do all this different stuff and I, and I get help from people. People are I usually this one I took all, all on myself, but usually what I'll do is I will have, I'll split up things of the agenda. And I didn't do that this time. I, wouldn't, I intentionally didn't do that this time. But what I did is I started with a game. I guess it's a game kind of something we call sweet 16. It's we do it at my house with my, 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 my family. We do it. It's something that there was a guy in, I think his name's David Glover. I think the guy uh, in, uh, in St. Louis that has a radio show and they, they used, I don't know if they still do it. They used to do this thing called Sweet 16 where, and I think this is apropos because it's, it's March Madness time, but you would go through and we'll pick a topic and we will then vote on who makes it to the next round. So on this one, I just picked the, the first thought that popped in my head and it was best toys of all time. And it was it was really just kind of interesting because we ever you go around and so everyone gets to get a pick so you go around everyone picks who they think is the which w- w- what they think is the top toy and you go around and you vote and you go from round to round to round and and then you get to the final four and then you get to the the championship game and then you pick a winner and it was it was fun it was it was a lot of fun everyone really enjoyed it it was that's a, a little something a little something it was un, it was not business related at all not one bit, but it was a, it was a cool little thing for everyone to do. And so if you, if you need ideas, that's one of those things that you could do if you want to. So I, I, I recommend that you, that you check it out. And then after that, I, we did a, I played a video and this is something where I, I mentioned in, about texting me. If you have an idea, the video was obvious to you, amazing to others. And the whole video is about you know, there's things that you have or that you do or ideas that you have or things that you do that seem very obvious to you, but not to others. They're amazing to others. And so everyone watched that was like two minutes. It was a really short video. And then after that, we had a discussion, we broke into groups and we had a discussion about things that we think might be really obvious and, but they might be amazing to other people. And this is one of those sort of those uh, quote unquote games. This isn't that, that one really wasn't a game, but what we would normally do is have some sort of game instead of the video. And then we'd go into a discussion and you start to collect information. It's it's, and we did that with that one where we broke into groups and then we reconvened and everyone shared what they had. Cause I wanted to be able to start to share small in small groups and then get into the big group and then share. And it was, it was great. I had, some of the best ideas we've ever had really cool ideas like such there was here's what's great about it such simple ideas that have a massive impact it was so cool really good idea or not really good idea. it was we had a lot of great ideas it was awesome so then we what we went into and we we do this during every single meeting and that is our we go over our core ma- values we go over our mission. We go over absolutely everything. So we have our, our one phrase strategy. So one phrase strategy is a really important thing. It, you know, strike fast, strike often. That's we even trademarked it. So and we go through what that means to everybody. So we yeah you know, we go through our mission. You know, we're leveling the playing field so our clients have access to the medical care they deserve, money they, the money to rebuild their lives, and equal access to justice. So and we go through each of our core values. We go through our X factors, our brand promises, what our grant guarantee is if we don't if we don't actually meet our promises. So we we go through all that. I think that's extremely important to continually remind our people about those. And so that's what, some, something we do. And then after, after that, we go through our Q1 review. That's what we did. And uh, we, we'll always do that too. So we'll do, a, we'll do our quarterly review. So these are the things that we set out to do. And these are the things that actually happen. And you know what? News alert. We don't always achieve them. We don't always achieve them. Just sometimes things happen and you don't. But you learn from them. That's what's great about it. So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But as long as you are learning, that's what matters most. And then after we do that, 
after we go through a review, this is where the where we spend a good amount of time. What are we doing well? Is the, that's the three questions. What are we doing well? What should we stop start doing? And what should we stop doing? Okay, those are those are immensely immensely powerful questions because you'll come away with a list of things. What was interesting is that when things are not so great, okay, you're going to get a lot of the, what should we stop doing and what should we start doing? Okay. And what I was very happy with is we didn't have a whole lot of those this quarter. It was, it was good. We, I mean, we had, we had great feedback. It was awesome. So we're not perfect. It was great. We had a lot of, it was, it was interesting with, because we have a new team, basically we, we've intentionally gone through some turnover to, with the top grading, it's been a now at this point about two year process, but it's been intentional and it's the team we have is just I'll put it against anybody is what I'll say I'll put it up against anybody, it's it's pretty awesome. So I, I think because of that we've made a lot of great moves fairly recently and and so things have been have been looking good. But after that we go through our our priorities and our rocks for the coming quarter is what we do. So we we go through okay what what are our priorities what are we going to focus on. And what are rocks? I can talk about that stuff in another episode. That's that's a definitely a more detailed episode. That yeah, it's gonna it would take way more time. They may not even be a short episode, but I can talk about that in another episode because that is pretty detailed. And then I ended it with one of my favorite TED talks. It's about twenty three minutes, and actually I don't think that most TED talks are that long. But they gave Brene Brown like 23 minutes on this one. I don't know what the actual average time is, but I don't think it's normally 23 minutes. I even think that she got like the, hey, get off stage thing because there was a moment where she kind of almost acknowledges them, I think. It's the dare to be... It's it, here's what I put it: video dare to be as great as I know you are. That's not what the name of the video is. It's the, it's the one where she talks about the quote, daring greatly. And so I, I intentionally, I really wanted to have that, that quote in there. And so we talked about that a little bit. But we didn't have a discussion. I just, I kind of gave, what we did was essentially, I, I, they gave like a couple minutes at the end of it for people to kind of chit chat a little bit about it and talk about the video because they loved it. We had third people actually like tearing up a little bit, which I thought was interesting. But we watched that video and then right after, right after I let people kind of chit chat for a second, I went into the wrap up, which is kind of like my raw, raw speech for the next quarter. It was, it was great. It was cool. You know, people teared up. I may or may not have teared up myself. I, I won't tell you, but um, it was it was cool. So it was a different feel. This one, I'm not usually the soft, you know, raw, um, uh, frou frou type, but I I did this quarter, and it was it worked out well. But I've talked about other quarterly meetings, I think, in another podcast. But that's what we did this quarter. Hopefully, you all got something from this this podcast and from me talking about this this quarterly meeting. But I would love again, I'd love to hear from you. If you do have anything you want me to cover on the podcast, or if you have any questions about this this agenda that I just went through for this quarterly meeting, but I'd love for you to text me three one four five zero one nine two six zero. And if I have not told you who won the Sweet Sixteen, and Legos was the winner, so I hope some of you all were wondering that the whole time. But Legos was the winner. Time to wrap things up, everybody. Have a wonderful week. Until next week, remember that consistent action is the blueprint that turns your goals into reality. Take care, everybody. See ya. Thanks for listening to the Maximum Lawyer Podcast. To stay in contact with your hosts and to access more content, go to MaximumLawyer.com. Have a great week and catch you next time.